1964, two crewmen aboard an Alaskan freighter captured on film the eruption of a giant earthquake. While taking shots of the dock below, it struck. As the earth trembled, the harbor was sucked dry. Chasm opened beside the ship. A huge tidal wave smashed in. Much of Alaska was shaken apart. Earthquakes are nature's most frightening events. For when the earth is at war with itself, there is no place to hide. Since man first walked this planet, earthquakes have inspired both terror and awe. Ancient Greeks believed that earthquakes were caused by the dead fighting among themselves. Japanese folklore tells us that earthquakes result from the movements of a great spider which carries the earth on its back. Today, we accept more scientific explanations. Yet, giant tremors can still strike suddenly and without warning. April 18, 1906, an earthquake shattered San Francisco. It was caused by a huge rupture in the fault line that runs below the city. A Hollywood film recreated that disaster. A pioneer news cameraman recorded the aftermath of the earthquake. The quake and resulting fires destroyed 28,000 buildings. Over 150,000 people were left homeless. 450 died. Slowly, the dazed city pulled itself together to begin the awesome task of rebuilding. Today, the legacy of 1906 still haunts this beautiful city. Like the restless clouds of a gathering storm, the earth itself is alive and ever-changing. Stirring deep inside are dynamic forces of immeasurable strength. Science has learned only recently that the Earth's crust is divided into a dozen gigantic blocks or plates. Most of the world's earthquakes strike along the seams of these plates. Together they form a huge mosaic on the Earth's surface. Nearly all of North America, plus a large part of the Atlantic Ocean, make up a block called the North American Plate. The volcanically active floor of the Pacific Ocean, from Japan to California, is another giant slab known as the North Pacific Plate. About 80 miles thick, each plate is under constant pressure to move. Driven by enormous forces that we know very little about, they float like rafts on the Earth's soft mantle. Yet they do not float freely. Where they touch, there is constant strain and pressure. Each plate struggles to push, bump, and drive past the other. Cutting through California like a giant scar is a major fracture in the Earth's crust. It is known as the San Andreas Fault. At about the speed that fingernails grow, each plate is grinding against the other in opposite directions. Over thousands of years, the fault's slow movement has displaced the course of riverbeds. In the city of Hollister in central California, the earth on either side of the San Andreas Fault moves freely and relatively quickly. Curbstones and sidewalks throughout the city are warped and displaced by the gradual slippage along the fault. The continuous movement of the ground leaves fences bent and twisted. At a nearby winery, solid block concrete walls are creeping away from their supports. It is dramatic evidence of an active fault. In Southern California, near Los Angeles, the San Andreas Fault looks like a rocky ravine. 
For the last hundred years, this section of the fault has been locked in place. Eventually, it must catch up with the movement of other sections. When rock resists a constant pressure to move, it bends and distorts until finally, it fractures. That is an earthquake. Friday, March 10th, 1933. Hollywood's film studios are bustling with activity. On a sound stage at Paramount Studios, W.C. Fields has just begun a scene. Your family saved my life. Now what can I do for you? Take us to Shanghai. Shanghai? Uh, yeah. What, what's the matter? heavily shaken, but the earthquake's power is centered in the city of Long Beach, 40 miles away. 